What's up, guys? Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson Show daily summer vlog. And you're probably wondering, well, where am I? Where am I? What building am I in? <laughs> I'm just here at the post office, our local post office. I figure good place to film, something different, and no wind. I heard a lot of wind yesterday in the uh, four wheeler video that I made. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Uh, today, originally, I was going to do like a DVD review. Of, I got a couple of DVDs in the mail. Actually, I got, I think, about three of them. Plus, a surprise DVD, but that's not for me. It's for somebody else uh, that I ordered. But I'm not going to say who. You'll find out within the couple of weeks of who, who will receive that DVD. Anyway, uh, I was going to talk about... I was going to do a movie review, but I figure... No, I'll wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will be extra special because of the fact that it's going to be our 30th, my 30th daily summer vlog video. And even though most of the videos that I made go in two parts sometimes, it's only because of that time, that fucking time limit thing. I get sick and tired of doing that. But, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, how many, I mean, I, I like how many views I get and everything, but I, I'm not worried as far as, you know, I'm not getting paid for it, so I'm just I'm just doing it because I want to do this, you know, just because it's a goal that I've had to to do uh, a video every day for the summer for a while. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is tomorrow I will show you guys during my lunch break at work I will show you guys the DVDs that I got or a couple, well three of them that I got anyway. They're all related to Steve Martin. So, what movies did I get? Well, you'll just have to find out which uh, Steve Martin related DVDs I got tomorrow in tomorrow's uh, vlog. Today I want to talk about some exciting news that I found out yesterday. Well, it's probably not news anymore. It's probably uh, uh, old history now. But I'm talking about the, uh, the news of uh, Back to the Future, the entire trilogy coming out on Blu-ray finally. And of course here a few weeks ago I found out during the Astoria, Oregon uh, Goonie Festival that they had in Astoria, Oregon, uh, that they are officially releasing the, the Goonies on Blu-ray as well, a special collector's item. Now, I don't have a whole lot of information about everything about what's going on, but it's just exciting to know that two of my favorite films uh, are coming on Blu-ray now. And it is about time, as most of you will probably say in the comments. Uh, and it's exciting because it, it's finally... It, and uh, for Back to the Future, it's coming out 25 years to the day that uh, Mark McFly had his first adventure. And that's Tuesday, October 26, 2010, which is the end of, which is this year, uh, which will be kind of exciting. Uh, the Goonies uh, will also be celebrating 25 years as well, or are celebrating 25 years. And to have them come on a Blu-ray as well, it kind of makes it seem kind of unique now because all these good movies that we all grew up on, besides a few that are still uh, not on Blu-ray yet or even not on DVD yet, uh, you know, are coming out, you know, on better releases and and, and better and a better picture quality and with more special features. Now I don't know, I don't know exactly if I'm going to buy the uh, the Back to the Future one right away. I'll probably buy the Goonies one first. Because the one thing about Blu-ray, if you haven't, if you don't know already, if you're not a Blu-ray collector or if you're just starting out like I did six months ago, uh, Blu-ray is a little bit more spendier than uh, regular DVDs. Why? Well, because it's the newest format. It's the latest format. And uh, I'm not saying you can't go to the, the store and find it for a uh, Blu-ray for $5, because you can if you really, really look. But for most releases... I've seen Blu-rays that uh, have charged, or stores that have charged over thirty dollars just for one Blu-ray, just for one movie, like a lot of those Disney movies and whatnot. Or if you go to Kmart, uh, you go to Kmart, your local Kmart, you, I wouldn't even buy any Blu-rays from Kmart unless they're really, really cheap because they charge you like thirty-five bucks or so just for a movie. And, and I love films and everything, but even as a film collector, even if I had a lot of money to afford everything, I still wouldn't pay that much for one freaking film, you know. But because I, you know, because most of us, you know, live on a budget and whatnot, you know, we want to make sure if we're going to buy something, we're going to buy something that's, uh, you know, 
within our price range, what we can afford. Even if it's previously viewed, hell, I'll buy a previously viewed movie if it saves you some money. I don't necessarily need the freshly shrinken wrap, you know, DVD wrap or Blu-ray wrap package. I'll, I'll set as long as the disc works and everything, and the and the case looks somewhat good anyway. I'll I'll settle with a a previously viewed uh, version of that movie. You know, like the Friday the Thirteenth one that I got and the. Uh, Friday the 13th and the Halloween 2, they're all previously viewed, you know, the, the, the latest uh, Friday the 13th. Why did I pay full price for Friday the 13th? Because, quite frankly, I didn't want to. I, you know, I had no problem paying this $7 for a previously viewed movie. Uh, why did I pay, why did I pay, uh, twenty dollars for a box set or not because it's a box set you know like if, if I'm watching a TV show or whatever and like everybody loves Raymond or even two and a half men that's different because that's a box set that it contains more than one disc you know the most I'll spend on a box set depending on what it is will probably be between twenty five and thirty dollars uh, now the Ghostbuster box set and all that stuff that's a little different because that's a special, that's like 25 DVDs and 125 episodes or whatever. And it's, you know, a lot more work gone into the packaging and, and make, presenting the uh, the box set. So I'll pay, I'll pay a hundred bucks for that if I had to. You know, I don't own it, but if I had a chance to, I, I'd pay whatever they were, they're asking. Because it's worth it. But for a single disc movie, no. Nah. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at is the fact that uh, Ghostbusters... Well, Ghostbusters 1 is out on Blu ray now. They haven't done Ghostbusters 2 yet. Hopefully, they will. I'm still waiting for, like, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids to come out on Blu ray, but I have I have majority of a lot of stuff that I grew up with on DVD already. So, as far as my Blu ray collection goes, I'm only going to buy certain movies on Blu ray if I feel it's a good deal or if it's not. The I found out that the Back to the Future Blu ray set will, right now, is going to cost $75, and that's for three Blu ray movies. And I think they might even be able to put just make it a two disc even, but that's because it can hold a lot more stuff. The uh, Goonies one is looking at to be about thirty-five to forty dollars, but it includes a lot of extra stuff, like books and everything, and and uh, a lot of memorabilia that we, that would that's kind of cool stuff that I like anyway to collect. So anyway, guys, that's all I gotta say for today. Tune in tomorrow for to find out what Steve Martin movies I had got. And we'll see you tomorrow for day number 30 of our daily summer vlogs.